Genesis chapter 6. The Lord saw how great man's wickedness on the earth had become, and that every inclination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil all the time. The Lord was grieved that he had made man on the earth, and his heart was filled with pain. So the Lord said, I will wipe mankind, whom I have created, from the face of the earth, men and animals, and creatures that move along the ground, and birds of the air, for I am grieved that I have made them. But Noah found favor in the eyes of the Lord. Noah was a righteous man, blameless among the people of his time, and he walked with God. So God said to Noah, I am going to put an end to all people, for the earth is filled with violence because of them. So make yourself an ark. I will establish my covenant with you, and you will enter the ark, you and your sons and your wives with you. You are to bring into the ark two of all living creatures, male and female, to keep them alive with you. Noah did everything just as God commanded him. Noah and his sons and his wife and his son's wives entered the ark to escape the waters of the flood. Pairs of clean and unclean animals, of birds and of all creatures that move along the ground, male and female, came to Noah and entered the ark, as God had commanded Noah. Genesis chapter 7, the floodwaters came on the earth. All the springs of the great deep burst forth, and the floodgates of the heavens were opened. And rain fell on the earth forty days and forty nights. As the waters increased they lifted the ark high above the earth, and the ark floated on the surface of the water. All the high mountains under the entire heavens were covered. The waters rose and covered the mountains to a depth of more than 20 feet. Every living thing that moved on the earth perished. Birds, 
livestock, wild animals, all the creatures that swarm over the earth, and all mankind. Everything on dry land that had the breath of life in its nostrils died. Every living thing on the face of the earth was wiped out. Men and animals and the creatures that move along the ground and the birds of the air were wiped from the earth. Only Noah was left, and those with him in the ark. Genesis chapter 8. God remembered Noah and he sent a wind over the earth, and the rain stopped falling. The water receded steadily from the earth. The ark came to rest on the mountains of Ararat, and the tops of the mountains became visible. Noah sent out a dove to see if the water had receded from the surface of the ground. When the dove returned, there in its beak was a freshly plucked olive leaf. Then Noah knew that the water had receded from the earth. He sent the dove out again, but this time it did not return to him.
Then God said to Noah, Come out of the ark. Bring out every kind of living creature that is with you, so they can multiply on the earth and be fruitful and increase in number upon it. So Noah came out, together with his sons and his wife and his sons' wives. All the animals and all the creatures that move along the ground and all the birds, everything that moves on the earth, came out of the ark, one kind after another.